just not quite sure how I ended up here. I thought this would be a good place to start this vlog because in reality, this is what my life is, okay? Let me set the scene for you. iPad, but never in my life Brooke Schofield. This is my life. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. I just filmed a video trying a bunch of different coffee shops in the area. I'm, I'm in Orange County right now. As you can tell, it's about 4.45 right now. I am hopped up on caffeine and I need a little bit of fuel. I need some water. I need to calm down because I am so overly caffeinated right now. I'm also not even hungry because of how much caffeine I've had and that's a problem. This is your friendly reminder that coffee and matcha is not a substitute for food. It's gonna make you lose your appetite. It's gonna make you think that you're not hungry but you actually need food more than ever. So I got myself a good grains bowl from Kava. I got some spicy lamb meatballs. I got some cucumber, crazy feta because obviously I'm feeling a bit psycho today. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. So you guys know I love cooking at home, but something that makes it so much easier, so much easier is Blue Apron. You guys know I love Blue Apron. It is the best meal delivery service and they just became even more special to me because they have prepared and ready meals. So I love cooking from home, but sometimes for lunch, I just don't wanna think twice about it. I just wanna reach in the fridge and grab something. This feels like taking the step out of my Blue Apron meals where I actually like cook them and make them. I'm getting them even faster, but the same quality Quality, the same amazing ingredients, the same amazing recipes, just in literally two to three minutes. Don't mistake these for like frozen meals. These are pre-made, not frozen, fresh and ready meals. So you don't freeze these at all. You just put them in your fridge and have them ready for the week. Every week you get to go through and see which meals that they have ready and you get to just like make your little selections. This is a coconut korma chicken and rice. Mmm. You guys know I've been on my little like coconut cashew curry wave. So I'm excited about this. All you do is pick your meal, poke some holes, put it in the microwave, two to three minutes, and you're ready. You guys want a deal? I got a deal for you. This has made my life a thousand times easier and a thousand times more delicious. Mm. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You guys need Blue Apron in your life. I have a deal for you guys. Use my link in the description. Go check out Blue Apron. Go get your meals. Just take it from me and make your life easier. Click the link in the description and get this 65% mm. off offer. Oh, is that Italian blood in me? I got it. I knew it was in me somewhere. There's no way we don't have a rolling pin. What kind of Italian household does not have a rolling pin? Actually, I think this is exactly what an Italian household would do. This makes more sense. Bottle of good wine, gets the job done. I think this is one of the most important parts to make a pizza at home. You have to make a little bit of garlic butter and then you're going to put this on the crust. A Little bit of oregano, beautiful, and into the oven. Don't tell my ancestors I burnt the pizza. Like, I kind of like it. Okay. Oh, wow. This is when tracking your period really comes in handy because today it says that I am one day away from like my peak ovulation day, which means that I'm feeling good and I'm feeling like lifting heavy. And that's like the best week to really push yourself in the gym. Like it's always good to push yourself in some way, but to like try to lift your heaviest is like your, I think your follicular stage and your ovulation stage, especially your ovulation. And mama's ovulating. Just three on each side. This is honestly, this is the heaviest that I go usually. So let's see if we could do this or maybe heavier. Ten, okay. Oh, shit, okay. I wish I could go heavier, but today's not the day. 
A lot has happened since the last time I saw you. For one, one of my nails broke and my nails never break. But I was playing basketball and I was trying, you guys, I, I was trying to be a sports girl. I was trying to like, you know, hang with the boys and nail completely came off. But it's not gonna make me give up, okay? I'm still gonna try. I just need to be a little bit more careful. But this was literally a new set. I don't know. I don't know how much stronger these can get. It's 10 o'clock right now. I need to get some sleep. It's been a long day. I want to knock out, okay? Tonight is one night where I don't want to lay in bed for a long time. I, I want to get in and have my head hit the pillow and I just... I'm tired. It's been a long day and I bought this like a week ago and I still haven't tried it out. It's the magnesium powder that everyone's using on TikTok. I have used magnesium powder before, but apparently this one is really good because it has like L-theanine in it and it's like the right magnesium powder to make you knock out. Honestly, they say the best way to take magnesium is to take it topically. So like have it in a spray. This is also good. I just used half a teaspoon. It says to use a teaspoon, but like I've never tried this before and I don't, I just, you know, Know, stuff like this kind of scares me. I just want to see, you know, how I react to it. But this is the like topical uh, magnesium that I use. It's the aloe magnesium spray and I spray it on my chest, on my back, and then I spray the bottom of my feet too. Usually I do this like when I actually get into bed. Is this extra? Maybe. I use Sleep Plus Pillow Spray. Guys, we have a routine to go to sleep, which I think everyone should. I'm just gonna spray this all over my pillows. Be careful with this stuff because it is like an oil and your face is going to be on your pillows. So I kind of spray them and then fluff them out. I'll turn on my hatch. <laughs> which is my little red light. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. I am about to, I'm about to enter another world right now. Wish me luck. Well, good thing I slept really good last night because this is this is what's going on right now. Yes, yeah, so we found a kitten in our yard. I have spent my morning getting this little setup ready for him and going and getting formula. And like, I, I wasn't expecting this for my Wednesday, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I didn't think this is what, what was going to be uh, going down. It's sad because we can't keep him. I, I really, really want to, obviously, but like we have a house full and we have two cats already. And it makes me so sad because honestly, I feel like him and Junie would be best friends. Like Junie is actually like really curious about him and like I feel like Junie wants like a friend to play with and hang out with. Like if I had my own place, this would be a no-brainer, but I just can't. I can't. I also can't even, like, just keep her for the meantime because I leave on a trip on Monday, like, for a whole week. There, there's not going to be anyone to, like, take care of her. Hopefully by the time I post this video, I have found him a home. I'm just not quite sure how I ended up here. I don't really know how to, like, go about my day when I have a whole little baby kitten in my room. I'm pretty sure it's a boy. Pretty sure he's about like four weeks old because when we got um, my oldest cat, he was like two weeks, two or three weeks and we had to bottle feed him. And that's how I had like that whole little setup with the heating pad and the litter box and like all of that. That was like probably six years ago. And then when I got Junie, I think she was like either eight weeks or 10 weeks. So she was a bit older, but still kittens are a handful. <sighs> I don't know, we'll figure this out. But I gotta get ready. Mama, mama's gotta go, mama's gotta go. I just left the brand edit event. They do like different events um, kind of for different seasons and just like introducing different brands that they have giving free product from each brand. And this bag is jam packed to the top. First off in here, this is Obagi Medical Transformational Skin Care. And I got an eye cream, vitamin C serum, a daily hydro drop, a lot of different skincare products to try, but what's great is that it's medical grade skincare, so I'm excited to try out some like, you know, higher quality products. Barbell, ooh, a protein bar. I am gonna rip one of these open today. A hat. This is cute. This is from Waterboy. Wait, I've heard of Waterboy before. Hydration drops in here. Hydration drink mix. I love this brand. We have some hair, skin, and nail vitamins. Elemis, I love Elemis. We have a glowy 
priming moisturizer and then a superfood midnight facial velour fake lashes alphabet super power facial oil same brand a lip oil also they're plumping a smoothing lip mask you know me i love a new lip mask Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, I am on my period right now. I am fully exfoliated, exfoliated, so I have no tan on me. I'm not having a great hair day. I'm not having a great skin day. I am, I'm not feeling myself, but we're gonna fake it till we make it, and I'm just gonna keep telling myself that I'm pretty. <laughs> Skylar Hair Body Mist, pure vanilla. Okay, I just <laughs> ripped that open. I can't even smell it. That's delicious. Pure vanilla, cotton candy, and coconut milk. That is a combination. We got some hum vitamins, a daily cleanse, and a flatter me de bloat. Air shine spray. I've never tried the Polite Society, but they gave me a few different products. We have their More Than a Pretty Face foundation, a glossy lip balm, which this kind of looks like the Summer Fridays one, which I love. Their powder blush stick in milan persona peptide lip balm another lip balm we got perfumes from skylar boardwalk delight and sunkiss delila or dahlia or what dahlia dal i can't read one of my favorite brands they have simple mills in here these taste like thin mints the little mint chocolate some k-pods in here strawberry refresher strawberry acai and then water boy we have some socks oh my gosh i love new socks these are so cute hung over cute i think they also have like chamoy gummies in here i got another hat good skin good mood good day not today but it's okay i also went to erewhon to get another snack because i was hungry why are four chicken tenders and a salad $24? Because I went to Air One. And that's my fault. I've had myself a day. I am absolutely exhausted. I woke up this morning to a cat in my period. Like, I'm just not doing well. I am glad that I slept well last night. Like, dude, the magnesium made me, which is nice. Um, but I just had like so much going on today. So sorry we we're catching up so late, but I actually have a little haul for you guys. I am going on a trip next week. I'm going to Toronto and New York. And I just wanted to get some clothes because I don't really have a reason. I just wanted them from Urban. I got a plain white t-shirt. I got this cutie top for going out. I know. It's cute, huh? I don't know if it's giving like cute or if it's giving Big Bird. Let me know. And then I got this from Zara. Look how cute this is. I'm not usually like a dress girl, but I thought this would be cute with my um, knee high boots and like a cute full jacket or something and then i needed a restock of my um first aid beauty makeup remover i cannot live without this stuff this is the only thing that really really takes off my makeup and doesn't make my skin feel like oily or gross or whatever um so that's like my first cleanser and then i use my youth of the people one gets the job done burning like a candle night hey girlfriend boyfriend i think it's a boy i don't really know why he's crying i thought he wanted to be held and uh still no idea is this what it's like to have a baby like why what do you want let me know you're fed you pooped I'm holding you. I, I tried everything. Let's go, kid. This is crazy. When do you like 
I get ready? How did I get my period yesterday and I still ended up being a mother? I don't know how that happened. A lot has transpired since the last time that we chatted. I actually found little miss, he or she, a home. And it's actually the perfect home because uh, one of my best friends, Grace, has been looking for a kitten. Well, not that she's been looking for a kitten, but she's been wanting a kitten. The only problem was is that she can't get one for another three months. And I obviously knew that when like I showed her the kitten and I was like, oh my gosh, like it would have been perfect, blah, blah, blah. And then to help me out and just like, you know, reach more people to see who could take him or her and she actually ended up DMing back and forth with one of her friends and her friend offered to foster the cat until Grace can take him home which is like literally oh my gosh that is so incredibly sweet and I'm just so happy that her friend offered that obviously I would if I could but it just turned into like the perfect situation so I'm gonna drop him off at the friends tomorrow but you have a home you have a home i mean you're safe this is a home you're all good here okay i need to get myself together Now I agree. I think it's time to wash this off. I've had it on for about like eight hours. The girl said I could wash it off at like three to four. If I really have to go somewhere, she said that I could leave it on eight hours. Like that's what she recommends. I looked it up. It said eight to 10 hours for like maximum results. And I just want this to last as long as it can because it's only Thursday. I leave for my trip Monday night and then I'm there until Sunday. So I want it to last me like literally a week and a half. But I, 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 feel, I feel like we're good. I feel like we got it. I think we should just rinse, no soap, and a lot of moisturizer and just like lock in the tan. I also just like, I wanna be patient, but I really wanna see like what it's gonna look like, especially on my face, because I went a bit, I went a bit dark on my face. I just wanted it to match. What do we think of the tan? The little baby is getting this bottle right now but I feel like my face looks just a little odd because I'm not used to it being this dark but overall I love it I think it's perfect I think it's like the perfect shade to fade over the next week this is our last morning with little mr. blue eyes we need to get ready to take him to his home The crate didn't really last very long. I felt too bad. I think he's scared of the car. I know, I got you. It's okay, you're just a baby. We're gonna pick up your mommy and then we're gonna take you to your other temporary mommy's house. You have a big journey ahead of you, little man. Those eyes are. He's so little. Come here. Come here. Come here. Toasty, Monty, or Bluey? Look at him just waiting for look. his name. Babe, he's, look, he's waiting. He just wants Monty, to know. Monty, Toasty, Bluey. He's waiting so patiently, so make a decision. 
Monty. I think I like Monty or Toasty better. I think Damn, I like we, Mo that's Monty. Like. So you're not vocal anymore because you had some milky, huh? Do you want more? Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just spilling on him. I'm dead. So when oh. the ears are shaking, right? Yeah, when they wiggle, that means he's like latched, locked and loaded. How cute. Oh my god. So cute. I know. I know. Give me that tummy. Let me see. The baby is gone. I dropped him off yesterday. It was actually so cute. Like, Mariah's setup for everything was so perfect. He is at the perfect place for, um, you know, his temporary little stay until Grace gets to take him home. But obviously, Grace is going to be like seeing him and hanging out with him a lot until then. But I'm just so happy. I'm so happy that it turned out in this way. Like, how did my week end off? like that. I don't know. I bought lactate milk. I used to drink this all the time. When I was younger, with every meal, I would have a tall glass of milk. And then I found out that I was lactose intolerant and then I moved over to a tall glass of lactate milk. And then once I discovered oat milk, it was like game over for me and that was probably like five, six years ago now. I don't really no i'm just gonna try it out if you guys know more like about this then let me know but in my head i feel like this is gonna be better for me to drink like actual milk and have like the enzyme in it to help me digest it i don't know we're gonna try something different so we're gonna make a matcha I don't like it. Okay, not mad at it. Do I like oat milk more? Yeah, I have not had that taste in a while. Like that milk taste. It's very interesting. Um, Good, fun. <sighs> That's all I got for you. <laughs> I just got my nails done. These are so cute. I am back in my French tip era. I just love getting French tip with like very pastel or like not too vibrant colors. I feel like they just look like really soft and pretty. Um, I am running around like a chicken with my head cut off, okay? Because I leave for my trip in two days and I just have a lot to do, but I have something exciting to show you. I got new luggage. This is from Cowpack. It's their every starter bundle. So you get a carry-on and then you also get a large suitcase and I mean guys is this not the most perfect color for me ever then you also get packing cubes as well this is the situation we have right now I have a lot of my clothes like organized here by what days I want to wear them this is like only half of them because last night I was like trying on a bunch of the different outfits and I wasn't loving them like they weren't how I pictured them in my head so I'm just gonna like scratch a lot of them and just do like simple outfits, but, but these are the ones that I like love. I also made a purchase yesterday. Someone need to take my debit card away from me because I can't be stopped. They're so cute. <laughs> oh, hello. I really wanted a pair of black sneakers and obviously I've seen these everywhere and I don't want sneakers that are too like bulky because I want ones that I can wear with like skirts and kind of not be super like sneaker sporty type you know these are cute and then i also had a gift card at lululemon and i found these in the sale section um i just got some lulu aligns and this sports bra and they're in the color bone so that was free that was you know I think this was a good purchase. I think I'm gonna wear this on the plane probably. But the rest of my time is literally gonna be spent, like I need to like charge my headphones and I need to get all of my like electronics in order. I need to make sure I have like my body wash and little containers like that. All of that stuff is gonna be like 
not the fun part but once it's done then we're all ready to go and i haven't even said where i'm going um i'm literally this is gonna be my first time out of the country i also need to find my passport a lot on the agenda but honestly all of that is for another vlog i think i've yapped your guys's ear off enough for today but i love you so much thank you so much for watching what an eventful vlog spray tans and kittens what more can you ask for i love you guys and i'll see you in another country i guess bye